Hey Capsuleers, welcome to The Pulse, your regular catch up for everything that's been happening in EVE Online. What an episode we have for you today. The CSM were here last week for their summit and as promised, we have a summary of everything that was spoken about. So we're going straight to CCP Dopamine. Hey, CCP Dopamine here with a quick CSM update. We had a great several days last week during the CSM Summit with over 30 sessions discussing topics ranging from Citadel Times on Tanking, CCP's plans for the second quadrant of this year, communication, factional warfare and much, much more. What has been great specifically were the presentations delivered by the CSM members themselves on the subjects like the state of the industry or non-consensual PvP. We absolutely love those and we want to hear more from you and we will definitely be creating more opportunities to facilitate this type of knowledge sharing. We are currently reviewing the CSM meeting minutes and plan to have them published by the end of this month. However, we're going to be taking a slightly different approach this time around and delivering them in a bullet point format just to make sure that everything is concise and on point. Thanks very much. Dopamine out. Vigilance against cheating in EVE Online is an ongoing process and it's a fight that we are totally committed to. Here's CCP Ratati to tell you a little bit more. Hey Capsuleers, at CCP we define the trifecta of cheating as account hacking, task automation aka botting and fraud, credit card theft. According to our player surveys, botting remains a key concern to a majority of our players. However, that is only because it's the most visible of the cheating methods available to RMT providers. Since the task force was formed almost a year ago, we have reached a real and measurable success in the war on bots. I cannot go into further details, but we have made improvements to our tools and plan to make further improvements. Player reporting has been a huge success, mainly because of the positive feedback loop implemented last year. Keep those reports coming, and remember, no one is banned on reports alone. Even though visible botting still exists, we can assure you that our strategy has reduced the impact of botting on the ecosystem by over 80% in the last year. That is both the number of botters and the wealth generated. Account safety is something we care deeply about, so please enable two-factor authentication on all your accounts. Finally, buying ISK from RMT organizations is just as bad as botting, stealing credit cards, and account hacking. The RMTers are doing all of those things, and by buying from them, you are condoning that behavior. We enforce a zero tolerance policy on all forms of cheating and we will not rust until we achieve that goal. Be well and fly safe. He's cloaked, he's hiding in wormhole space, it can only be CCP content. Hey guys, I'm in J164430, also known as Solaris. It's the home wormhole of the Dark Space Initiative, and recently they've come under attack by Hard Knocks and their allies. They're working on evicting him from the hole, and I've got eyes on a fleet moving through the system just now. And it looks like they're wearing the new Oasis of Faith skin, available in the new Eden store now for all Amar ships. For as little as 55 plex, you can pick up one of these skins for your frigate, destroyer, cruiser, or battle cruiser. And there's also options available for battleships and capital ships. And they look absolutely fantastic. Who knew Amar ships would look so good in green? Apart from Visium, of course. But that's right, I just remembered. The skilling is just a means of communication event is in effect until the 14th of April. Every day at downtime, daily challenges will be issued to pilots all throughout New Eden. And you can rack up thousands of skill points in this period just by shooting your fellow space enthusiasts in the face. Luckily for me, I'm in a cloaked ship, so I don't have anything to worry about. I stabs, don't fail me now. I think I made it. Yeah, I just made it. Awesome. Well, I'll see you on the next episode of The Pulse. Now for something extra special, a blast from the past, we're going to hand over to our videographer extraordinaire, CCP Zom3. Hey! When CCP launched the Apocrypha expansion back in 2009, we also released a trailer. For those of you that played the game back then, you might remember the trailer was mysterious. There was no dialogue. The music was spooky. It felt strange. It felt 
alien. As it happens, a voiceover was recorded, but there was much internal discussion at the time over which version of the trailer to release, with voiceover, without voiceover. Ultimately, it was decided to go with the version without voiceover, instead letting the music take centre stage, enhancing this feeling of mystery and um, strangeness surrounding the appearance of wormholes across New Eden. 11 years on, and we thought it would be a good idea to show you the other version, to let you experience it from a fresh perspective. So here it is, version 2 of the Apocrypha expansion trailer. They say we find our true selves when faced with terror. That in our darkest hour, we find the will to be noble and the strength to be brave. Our virtue will be tested as never before. as we venture towards the haunting image of our past and find a legacy both alien and familiar. The demons of our ancestry hold secrets. Precious knowledge that will change the course of mankind. You will need all your courage to find them. Because you are the only one who can. You can't have a wormhole without a worm, so while we're on the subject of wormholes and life forms living in isolated regions of space, there's been some interesting developments in the Reykjavik office this week. As you may know, we will soon be moving to a new building here in Reykjavik, and the fish tank in the current office is being cleared out. While cleaning out the tank last week, a one metre long worm was found that is believed to have been living there for up to 12 years. Having probably arrived as larva on coral, this creature, dubbed Valdemar, has undoubtedly been secretly ganking intruders into its space. The story was even covered by local news here in Iceland. So if Valdemar has gotten this big in 12 years, how big can we expect him to get in over 20,000 years? With FanFest 2020 cancelled due to the spread of the coronavirus, we wanted to let our capsules know to stay calm as the content intended for FanFest will be coming to our community soon. That's all for this episode of The Pulse. Remember to hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos that we post. And if you've missed it, you can catch last week's episode of The Pulse as well. See you next time, capsules.